Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on uh, VB scripting. In this video, we will look at built-in functions to work with strings, date, time, and we'll look at other functions. Here is our uh, first script, and uh, we will look at uh, functions uh, that will work with uh, strings. Okay, uh, to set the stage, <coughs> sorry, I have uh, some variables declared. And I'm not enforcing it. I don't have option explicit, so I can you know, use uh, strings. I mean to say uh, variables as I like. So I have a few uh, variables declared: site, message, message one, message two, message three, and minum one, minum two. So the first function we'll look at is a mid. Mid is a function that operates on strings, and you can extract a subset of the string. So you can say you have a string called www.globallytrading.com and if you want to get say for example just this portion or just you know specific uh, character positions from the string we can extract that so that's the function and that's a roll of a mid function the syntax is pretty simple you know you pass a string and you give a starting point and you give a length and length is optional if you don't give the length from that point you get the whole string rest of the string but if you specify the length then you're giving a starting point and the length so from that position with the length defined it will you know get that portion of the string say for example here it has a result one equal to mid and site and that's the string and it says five five is the position is one two three four five so g from there it says two that means the length two so this would give you those two characters g and l and i have another example here it says mid five and fifteen so it's starting with g and fifteen is this whole word globally training and then we have uh, another one here it says uh, message one ampersand and we already looked at this and used it uh, in many videos so ampersand just concatenates the strings it will joins you know joins the string so we are uh, in this case i'm concatenating uh, message one message two and message three which are www global and uh, com but i'm inserting dot here and here so it looks like www.globallytraining.com and here I'm reversing the string I'm taking message to which is uh, globallytraining.com and I'm reversing that's a function and it's reversing it and then uh, here I'm using the length to get the length of a specific string so let me go ahead and run the script so 100 that is here I'm getting GL 200 200 is here result 2 result 2 is 5 uh, that's the starting point and the length is 15 I'm getting global training then number 300 here I have uh, I concatenated the strings using Amberson sign so we have that 400 that's here it reversed globally training and message 2 is globally training so the message is reversed I mean the string is reversed and oh I think I clicked through it oh so 515 which is the line number 40 and 41 so the length function will take a string and return the length of the string that's the whole purpose of this and these come in handy when you work with uh, you know strings primarily you know if you want to make sure that the password is certain length or the user ID is certain length or you know a message is certain length you can use it and mid function is uh, <coughs> comes very handy uh, when you try to read some data off of uh, any 
you know any text field or website and you get it and if you want to extract just certain positions then you know MID you know the mid function will come real handy <coughs> let's uh, move on to another script okay in this uh, script uh, we will look at the functions that work around a date time hour minute second now so primarily you know date and time so here I have a uh, you know a variable declare dim my date my date and I'm saying equal to date date by itself is a function in a VB which returns the current date so, so whatever today's date is you know it returns that then we have a uh, display message uh, date comma 100 so whatever we get today's date it gets displayed here then now here we want to work with that string you know we used the mid string before so this mid string is used um, is used on the date uh, my date string to extract month day and year and i'm displaying those in these three lines 22 23 and 24 so next let's look at the add date <coughs> the add date function is used to add you know days or months or years to the date so in this case i have my date and you know m here specifies that you're uh, you know you want to add one month so here it says m and eight so it adds eight months and here in this example or in this line 38 i have d which is days so i'm having i'm adding two days to this particular date here i'm adding eight days eight months to this date here I'm adding one month to this date here so I'm adding thing we'll, we'll run the script and look at how it works exactly and there are ways to extract date you know you know uh, I mean hour minute and second from time so say for example time itself is a function so here I'm capturing the current time into a variable and then I'm using our function on the time to extract hour and minute to extract minute and second to extract second so that's the role of this hour minute and second function and now here in this particular case I'm using now now is used to capture the date I mean the current date and time down to the second and you, you know we'll see that so let's go ahead and run the script real quick okay 100 which is coming from here it says today's date 11 8 24 11 8 24 2014 uh, so 200 we have 11 that's coming from here which is month that's a date and that's a year so we, we have used mid function successfully to extract month date and year from my date string so 500 is coming from here so my date was uh, uh, 11 8 and I added one month it became you know 12 8 for uh, first May 2014 I added eight months then it came I mean it moved to January the 1st of 2015 uh, 700 which is coming from here it's 5 3 so it was May 1st and I added two days it became May 3rd because I'm using D here 800 so here I'm displaying uh, hour from the time so no actually no I'm looking at okay line 42 so line 42 is 800 which it's, uh, it's capturing the time and displaying it now display time come 800 directly displaying the time and uh, next is uh, this is coming from line 48 which is 900 here my hour so from our it's in 24 hour format so that's where it's giving 15 then click through it that's a 5 that's a minute 35 that's a second now that's 1200 is coming from here 1200 so this 1200 uh, I mean the line to message 1200 here this what it does is it it's capturing date and time using the now function into now time variable and displaying it so the uh, the now function returns 
a string that you know starts with date and then followed by time in a regular format with AMPM PM format. So that's it about the dates. I mean, you, there are other functions around it, but this will get you started. You can, you know, uh, get a date, extract information using mid. You can add days, months, years as you like, and you can use uh, now uh, function to get the exact date and time stamp uh, when the script gets executed. So every time you execute the script, you know the you know the the values will be different because it works with the current date and time of your system. Okay, let's move on to the next script.